Uh, question from Heather. Does calcium increase growth of granulomas? Oh, man, that was one of the best questions in the whole world. So, uh, so my wife and I, if you haven't noticed, I love my wife, you know, and so one of the things she takes care of is osteoporosis and osteopenia. So one of the questions we always bounce off each other is, well, if you're a sarcoid patient, should you be taking vitamin D and calcium? And the answer is, totally, because I think that there's this misnomer, can you have elevated calcium from sarcoid? Sure, it does happen in some cases. Someone's gonna ask me why, is because if you have inflamed granulomas, it converts vitamin D to the active form and it kind of raises serum calcium. Just because your serum calcium is a little elevated, does it mean to panic? Does it mean I'm gonna blast you with steroids? The answer is no. You just probably have what's called asymptomatic hypercalcemia. But if you start developing renal stones and pancreatitis and all these manifestations, sure, we want to address it. But when we talk about just because calcium is high, I'll tell you one thing, when you get older, especially if you're a woman, especially if you're over the age of 60, you know what I'm going to be worried about is osteoporosis. And I could see so many people not getting their bone scans. I mean, I'm sorry, DEXA scans. You got to get that DEXA scan and you got to make sure that vitamin D level is at the right place. Vitamin D deficiency is so common. You know, even here in California, I don't know how we can be vitamin deficient in California. There's so much sunlight, but we are, you know. So I see many sarcoid patients scared to take vitamin D. All you got to do is tell your doctor, please check my level. And if the level's low, you take vitamin D. Taking some calcium is gonna be totally okay. So, but I think these are really good questions. There are a few exceptions, and this is where you can talk to your primary doctor, talk to your sarcoid doctor, but if you wanna take it up a notch when it comes to calcium, osteoporosis, osteopenia, it's gonna be an endocrinologist or rheumatologist.